Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles. Uh, she's out and about today, but we're going to be talking about uh, Sony removing access to digital movie purchases. Yeah, so if you think you're you're buying your digital movies, you're sorely, sorely mistaken. They can be taken from you at any point in time. We've been trying to tell you this for probably about two or three years now. Uh, I think most people understand it, but some people don't. They think you, quote unquote, buy a movie you know, from a, uh, a studio or a platform that you own that movie like you own a physical copy of it. And you're basically leasing or, or paying for access to the right to view that as long as it's on the platform. And now Sony is starting to pull movies away from people uh, in the PlayStation Store. So we're going to talk about this. And, uh, you know, this is sort of the shape of things to come, I, I believe, as more and more of these uh, streaming services consolidate. Um, a lot of codes maybe you redeemed 10, 15, 20 years ago will no longer be valid. And of course, Hollywood looking for uh, money, they're absolutely going to love it if you go buy the same movie again and again and again. And uh, you know, I can't stress to you enough that you probably want to have physical copies of your favorite movies as backups. You don't have to buy everything, obviously. But I made, made the mistake of uh, trying to switch our, our library over to mostly digital because I didn't want the hassle of trying to find room for DVDs and Blu-rays and all that. And unfortunately, uh, this seems to be the only way to to guarantee that you have these movies for forever, you know, at least during the course of your lifetime. And that you uh, have unaltered versions of the movies because we know, you know, like Disney in particular loves, loves to alter alter movies uh, after their release, you know, decades after their release. So let's talk about this. Got to give a hat tip to Black Sage D who sent over links to it uh, last night. And I did know that there were, there were some movies going away, but there are quite a few. It is currently uh, mostly, as I believe, Studio Canal films, but uh, I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the future. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 272,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Greatly appreciated. We do talk about pop culture. We talk about uh, technology. Uh, we talk about streaming and the streaming wars. And uh, yeah, a lot of us have have switched over to buying movies digitally and might not be such a, a good idea to put all of our eggs into this basket because the handle could break. Um, coming from Variety, Sony's PlayStation Store, Pulling access to purchased Studio Canal movies next month. Um, as of next month, it will remove access to hundreds of movie titles from Studio Canal. Now, so far, it does, again, only seem to be Studio Canal, and it does only seem to affect uh, people in Germany and Austria. But uh, just wait. You wait. You wait. We're going to see a lot more of this. Um, uh, the move comes a year after Sony's PlayStation Group stopped offering movie and TV show purchases and rentals. Uh, as of August 31st, 2021, citing the rise of streaming video services at the time, Sony assured customers that they can still access movie and TV content that they had purchased through PlayStation Store for on-demand playback on their PS4, PS5, and mobile devices. Clearly, that didn't mean forever. PlayStation posted notices about the impending removal of the Studio Canal content for German and Austrian customers on its website. As of August 31st, 2022, due to our evolving licensing agreement with content providers, you will no longer be able to view your previously purchased Studio Canal content, and it will be removed from your video library. We greatly appreciate your continued support. Uh, the PlayStation Store's removal of the films was previously reported by German website 4K Film. Uh, it's unclear whether PlayStation will refund customers for their purchase of movies they will no longer be available. A rep for Sony Interactive Entertainment didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. Studio Canal reps for the German uh, Germany Austria region had not yet responded either. Uh, the list of distributed titles will uh, removed included 314 in Germany and 137 in Austria. Uh, we've got movies like Paddington, Shaun the Sheep. Look at that. You're going to lose Shaun the Sheep and Paddington, The Hunger Games, Saw, John Wick. Um, they have a list here on uh, flat panel HD, all dogs go to heaven. Oh my God. There actually are quite a few movies here. I mean, it doesn't seem like much at first because it's only one studio and a couple of countries, but I guarantee you that we're going to see a lot more of this 
And the question is, do you get your money back? And I'm going to say, oh, the crow. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to guess the answer is no. Um, I'm going to guess that there's some fine print when you purchase these, these movies digitally that you're basically purchasing the right to view them as long as the system is online. And it's kind of the same with uh, comicsology and comic books and, and digital downloads like that, that if you have to watch it on the platform, if the platform no longer exists and you've spent a lot of money on DLC, well, you're SOL, you know, and, and we've run into this before with mobile games. I know for a while, uh, Geeky and I were playing uh, Puzzle Fighter, the Puzzle Fighter mobile game, and we were sinking money into buying gem packs and all this other stuff stupidly. It didn't last very long. The game was only around for like a year, and we probably sunk, you know, a couple hundred bucks in the stupid, stupid gem packs on a stupid mobile game. But we're like, oh, it's a Capcom game. It'll it'll be around for a while. No big deal. And then, yep, it was gone. Couldn't even play it. You couldn't even play it offline anymore. It was so stupid. Um, but uh, yeah, you got to be careful because, you know, we talked about this last year. You really don't own the digital movies you buy. And uh, apparently there was a lawsuit. Uh, people had sued Apple over movies that went um, disappearing too. But they said, yeah, what does it mean to even own your digital content? Um, doesn't mean you can turn around and sell it to somebody else. At least as long as you can get a device to convert the uh, 4K video file into something that your brand new holodeck on your space yacht can read. That's not, that's not actually true. It's basically, uh, according to Fandango and Voodoo now, it's a non-exclusive, non-transferable, non-commercial, limited license to access, use, or view the content in accordance with any usage rights. And basically, you know, if it's no longer available on the platform, if it's no longer available on the platform, they have no obligation to you. It said, like Fandango, they're like the authority to provide content to you subject to restrictions imposed by the movie studios and other distributors. Um, the content providers may designate periods of time when Fandango is prohibited from renting, selling, enabling, downloading, or streaming certain content to you, including uh, Fandango Voodoo purchase content. Amazon basically says the same thing. Your content may become unavailable due to potential content provider licensing restrictions for other reasons, and Amazon will not be liable to you if you purchase content and it becomes unavailable. Um, you're basically SOL at this point. You bought a bunch of movies. If you spent thousands of dollars on digital downloads through the PlayStation Store and they took your movies away, they don't owe you a damn thing. It's 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 in the fine print. So just be very, very aware. I, I guess my way of looking at it is I would probably pay more to go see the movie once in the movie theater than I'm paying for a download anyway. So if it disappears... You know, movies I really, really love or, or series I really love, anime, stuff like that, we, we buy physical copies of. You know, we'll buy the premium Blu-ray set or whatever, you know. But, but uh, you know, for most movies, it's like I watch it a couple times. If it's no longer available, eh, you know, if it's my favorite movie, I would have I would have sprung for a physical copy, right? Uh, some people don't think that way, though. So you might want to start thinking that way. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.